Come on, come on. here. I have a mixture of grains. At this moment I have uh, uh, oats, uh, corn, and I have uh, millet, and I have uh, oil sunflower seeds. And as you can see I also put a bit of uh, a bit of uh, oyster shells, you know, to help with the gizzards so that they can actually digest the food a little better. Now we're going to go to uh, my new guineas. I, I got guineas yesterday, so we'll see how they are doing. So these are the guineas. Um, I put the chicks here when they first come out uh, from from the uh, from the brooders. Um, they stay about there for about three weeks, four weeks, and then I bring them out. So here they are. Um, they're strange to me. Because you know this is a new method for them, so I'm gonna leave the food here so that they can eat. And I'm gonna bring the water. Now. They always have to have water, so they should be fine. Now over there in the back, I have my bees. That's where I keep my bees. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have probably honey sometime in the future. I'll show you that in another video. Why are you wasting the food? So they're not gonna get this anymore. Here the other chickens are having a feast. So I'm gonna let the chickens kind of cut. So one thing to note is that whenever you overfeed a, a chicken, there's always going to be some left behind. Now mind you, this is for the whole day and this is very early in the morning. So they're going to scavenge around, they're going to get worms and whatever else. And whenever they're hungry, they'll come right back to this. Um, this makes the animals very humble, very docile. So you're able to pet them, you're able to get close to them. Um, without them having to run away. So I would leave this food just like this and I wouldn't feed them again. Um, there's no mess, there's no stink, there aren't any animals trying to come and, and forage about whatever is left behind. What you guys saw over there um, with the chicks and the mess that was there, um, like I said, they're pretty new and they're not going to get any more food and I already understand how much I'll gauge how much food to give them. Um, and, you know, tomorrow they'll be hungry again, but I'm not going to do this again. I will just grab a little bit of, uh, you know, 
like a handful of food and then just pour it there and whatever is there they're gonna have to eat it because they get nothing else that's how they know that they're supposed to eat it not waste it um, less waste less animal less pest control they're happier they're gonna get to foam, uh, roam around and, and it's just much better you know there's no raccoons no rats nothing to be attracted here comes our duck Of a miller, we have some pecking ducks, egg layers. This one's so fat, you know, they're always following the line. Um, when it's time for, to feed them, I usually feed them later on in the evening uh, because I like to let them forage. They have the whole yard to forage and go around. Some dogs, you know. This is Cow Cow, the best dog ever. He's the one that protects, protects them. Hi, Cow Cow. Alright, so this is our free roamer. He's uh, the only survivor out of six. He's the only one that survived. He's a meat bird. He's very fat. Look at the man. Look at him making a mess. You're not going to make a mess. So he's the only chick out of six that survived. He's very plump, very fat. If you hold him, he's got quite some weight on it. Okay, shower time. This is my nice shower. Mm. The shower is going to be great. Ooh, I love it. Shower time. See you later. This is Pillarte. This is Pillarte. Okay, we're going to church. <laughs> Homemade eggs. That's right. Is there any other way that is not homemade? We got eggs. Mmm. Home birds. Not bought from outside. Our birds. Mmm. It's my yard. And there are my ducks. Okay, time for church. Let's go. Yahoo! Vroom, vroom, vroom. This is my neighborhood, this is my flowers, this is my bird, mm, this is my nice car. Okay. <laughs> Like a duck. So you sound like a duck in the car. Hmm. 